Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here's Van Amsen with another live coding session. Today we are diving deep into an interesting problem that challenges our algorithmic uh, thinking. So let's dive deep. All right, our task today is about identifying good purse. So number of good purse, uh, typical daily challenge, easy one. Uh, and a pair is considered good if both number are the same and the first number uh, index is less than the second number index. So we are not double counting. So sounds simple, right? But as always, the devil is in detail. So here is a quick example to uh, illustrate. So given a list uh, like this, so one, two, uh, three, three, yeah, one, one, uh, and three, how many pairs we can uh, create? So this one can create per with this one. Uh, also, this one can create per with this one. And this one can create also per with uh, this one as well. So uh, per number one, number two, and number three. And also we can create with this, yeah, missed uh, three and this three as well. So it's fourth par. So we need to output four because it's a total number of per and we are not double counting. So only uh, if we have two free, we are counting just one per. Okay, so I hope uh, now we understand the task and a straightforward approach might involve uh, two nested uh, loops, uh, checking every possible per. So uh, simple brute force, but we are smarter than that. And by using a dictionary, we can keep track of the number occurrences of each number. And each time we encounter a number, we know how many per it can form based on its previous occurrences. So let's translate it into a code. So count results zero and four num in nums if num in count result plus count num and count num plus one else count num will be one and return result as simple uh, as this. So uh, let's run it and see if it's uh, working. So yeah, uh, it's working and all right. Dividing uh, into uh, our coding environment, uh, let's uh, understand what we did. So we initialize a dictionary count uh, to keep track uh, of occurrences and a variable result to count uh, pairs. And next, we uh, look through our number and for each number, if it's uh, in our dictionary, we add its count to the result and increment its count. And uh, if it's a new number, we simply set it count to one. And that's it. We uh, return our result and we are done. So now let's uh, submit our code for unseen test cases as well to verify it's working. So uh, yes, our implementation work and we beat yeah 55% with respect to uh, runtime and also 82 with respect to memory. So really good. I think I have uh, even yeah 93% with this particular uh, result, 97 with respect to memory, uh, but the logic is exactly the same. So probably uh, it differ between the runtimes on the lead code. So, uh, so no code is complete without testing, but we have tested and as you can see, everything worked uh, perfect. So fantastic, our solution work. And uh, once again, uh, we turn problem into an uh, opportunity to learn uh, something new and grow as uh, programmers. And remember, coding isn't just about getting the right answer. It's about understanding the process and refining our problem solving skill. So it's more about a journey and if you found this session helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, 
share and subscribe for more coding adventure and uh, drop your question and suggestion in the comment section below. Uh, so uh, I will uh, read them and uh, yeah, keep practicing, happy coding. And yeah, I will also post uh, implementation in other programming languages like Go, Rust, C++ and much more in the description below. So keep practicing, happy coding and see you next time.